Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, this is the 600-year-old song, and uh, when, when I was asked to do this painting, I was given an open subject. In other words, there was an expectation it would be about music, of course, but I did not say what I needed to paint. And I asked myself, surely the Felix Novovieski Philharmonia Orchestra would want to see their great conductor and composer. They would perhaps like to see him recreated conducting the orchestra. And of course, in Poland, it had to be Chopin, didn't it? So we have Novovieski here conducting the orchestra. They're in Olsztyn. This is the castle that is in the center of the city. It's over 650 years old, and it was built by the Teutonic Knights and has a wonderful, wonderful history. That history is everything to do with the important things of being human. A lot of people think, what is the difference between human beings and other animals? And they think, big brain, but that's not actually the thing that separates us, because dolphins have big brains. Well, we walk. Well, most birds walk on two legs, just like we do. The things that separate us as human beings are music, art, science, politics, religion, and cooking. Because no other animal has ever cooked as far as we know. <laughs> well, we don't have cooking in the painting. But we do have art and science. It is the incredible history in the place. Mr. Grauman mentioned Copernicus and also mentioned the Teutonic Knights. Well, Copernicus lived in this castle and he was the administrator of the city and also the entire region. And while he was, uh, was living there, he led the defense of the city against the Teutonic Knights. Because Poland has had a history of many struggles. And uh, it was Polish people who established the city. But then the Teutonic Knights came along just a year later and said, this is a good place to build a castle. And then time passed, and the Poles were in charge of the, the castle. And the Teutonic Knights said, we want our castle back. And they laid siege to Olsztyn. And the story goes that in, it was in February of 1521, 490 years ago, and almost at their 500th anniversary. But the knights had besieged the city and they actually broke down the gates of the castle. Now, down on that uh, board down there, there's actually a picture of the gate from the old city wall where the knights broke through and it is said that Copernicus led the hand-to-hand -hand fighting in the streets and the compound around the castle and they repulsed the attack and the uh, siege of Olsztyn was lifted and the Teutonic Knights never actually got their castle back. Copernicus did something even more incredible than that. He wrote on the walls of this castle while he was living there all the calculations and the star maps and the orbits as he worked out that the sun did not revolve around the earth, the earth revolved around the sun. And those drawings are still on the walls inside this castle 500 years later. It is truly amazing. Ocean is not a large city, but it is a mark of Polish culture that 
the smaller size city has a philharmonic orchestra. And not, a, not just a philharmonic orchestra, but a very great philharmonic orchestra. And uh, they are currently engaged in a project to record all the works of Novovieski. He was such a great patriot. He wrote a song called Rata, and that music was actually considered for the Polish National Anthem in 1928. Um, and so this man has a great place in the, in the hearts of the Polish people. He was also, besides a composer, a conductor, as is depicted in the picture. And he was also a teacher, which is something that's very dear to my heart because it is said that he was not just an ordinary teacher. He was someone who inspired young people to take up music and uh, was very influential in places like Olsztyn, where they created a Philharmonia orchestra. In, in the painting, it is as if we're looking through the eyes of one of the violinists. These are the second violins, by the way. In the center, near the conductor, we have the concert pianist, of course, playing the music. Chopin's second piano concerto is very interesting, because not only is it the great piano concerto that we all love, but our favorite of his, uh, of his uh, piano concertos, an actual fact, even though it's called the second piano concerto, it was actually his first. But he was only 20 years old when he wrote it, and he wasn't famous yet. Nobody would publish it. So, of course, he wrote his second one, and that got published first. So it got called the first concerto. And his first concerto got published second. So it became known as the second concerto. But this young man, 20 years old, wrote this incredible music. I, f I find that <coughs> So, in this painting, we have the orchestra in Austin, and Nova Bieski is conducting. And as he conducts, he is pulling the whole world of Austin out of the musical instruments. The clouds, are growing from the violin strings, as you can see. The people in the audience are becoming the forest that surrounds the city. This symbolizes how, in Austin, the people, their culture, their city, and their heritage are indivisible. So it has given me great pleasure to create this wonderful painting. And I say wonderful, Without humility, or without obvious humility, I am very pleased with it. <laughs> the, uh, and I am very, very pleased to have received the letter from the Marshal of Warmia, Missouri, a year ago, asking me to paint this painting. Thank you.